Hi, I'm Susan Bowerman, and today's how-to video is how to tackle an artichoke. You know, artichokes are one of the most nutritious vegetables, and a big one this size is only about 40 calories, but it can be a little scary to look at, so I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I've just given it a quick scrub. The first thing you're gonna do is take your sharp serrated knife, and you're gonna cut off the top of your artichoke. Just like that. Okay, so we've got that. Now when you get to the bottom, you're gonna do the same thing down here. Some people cut the whole stem off, but I don't like to do that because the stem is an extension of that delicious artichoke heart in the middle, so I like to keep it. So what I do instead is I just take off some of these lower leaves. You can pull them off or you can cut them sometimes if you need to, if they're stubborn. And then I'm gonna take my peeler and just peel it a little bit. And that just removes some of that tough outer skin here on the core. Okay. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your kitchen scissors and you're gonna snip off the very ends of each of the leaves. And the reason is that they have these little sharp tips on there. They do get softer when you cook them, but I think it's nice if you're gonna serve them just to not have to worry about anybody getting one of those caught in their throat. So just go around and cut them off. Now you have a choice. If you've eaten an artichoke, you know that inside there's that hairy part, that choke that's down in the middle of the artichoke. And so what most people will do, if they're gonna cook them whole, they just leave them whole and then deal with it afterwards. It's very tough to get that out before you cook the artichoke. So I don't really recommend doing that. I think the best way to do it is to cut your artichoke in half before you cook it and then you can remove it. So let me show you how to do that. You're gonna take your sharp knife, either your serrated knife or something very, very sharp and be careful. We're gonna just cut this completely in half all the way through and through the stem as well. I'm gonna try it with this knife and see how we do. Okay, so now I've got it in half, and once I cut it in half, I'm gonna rub a little lemon on this because it turns brown really fast. <laughs> you can see very clearly where that artichoke heart starts and where the choke itself, that part that you want to cut out. And then all you have to do from here is take something like a grapefruit knife or if you have a paring knife and you can very carefully just cut through because you can see very clearly where that choke is and you can just cut that right out and it just pops out. That's not something you want to serve to people. <laughs> and once you've scraped all that out and you give it a rinse, it's ready to cook. Now, you have a couple of choices when it comes to cooking, too. What I like to do is just take these two after they've been prepared, put them face down in a flat dish with just a tiny bit of water and cook them in the microwave because they cook really quickly. You can do it in about 10 minutes. Or if you prefer, you can steam them. You can just stand them up in a steamer and put them in a little bit of water and steam them for about 45 minutes. Either way, they're delicious just as they are. Most people like them with a little bit of lemon. And again, the calories stay low as long as you're not putting a lot of oil or mayonnaise on top. And keep in mind too, these are a good source of folic acid, a good source of potassium, and there's quite a bit of fiber in there as well. So enjoy one of the most pleasurable vegetables we have in the springtime and try some artichokes today.